Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here again within the Cursed Estate and after just a devastating few weeks within the Hamlet, two deaths so soon and one of them, our champion, our legend, Zai, our healer, unfortunately perished to that of the courtyard. We have a plan. We're kind of raring to go and ready to get back out into the courtyard. But first, we have to level up a few of our new recruits. Um, f first off, we have um, our ringmaster, our new ringmaster. We also have um, Percy, who we used previously, our exterminator. And then we actually have our new Vestal, Barbara, at level 5. Um, I picked her up on a previous week. I went and did a level 1 mission to refresh our hero roster. We also have Marcus, our are Vovid. I don't know. Voy, Voy, Voyavid? Voyavoid? I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyways, we have we have these three new classes. So I'm going to get into the backstory now. We have two of these backstories. Actually, no, I think all three of these backstories um, are by the same person. Let me check. No, no, no. Sorry. We have two of them by Blank Gaming and we have one of them by uh, Strange Wonder. So first of all, we're going to get into Josephine Crowley. Mysterious, strange, charismatic. Nobody remembers where she came from or who she w even was, but everyone knows she's absolutely mad. But she wasn't always like this. A single day is all it takes. She proves it beyond anyone else. Her story is quite an interesting one. Once there was a family, nobles, rich and powerful, running over a big estate situated on, uh, on the British Empire. They were wealthy beyond belief, one of the biggest families in the country. The Crowleys were proud of their family lineage and their wealth, knights and prideful warriors coming from their family for generations on end, with them being the centre of attention for many. However, with time, the tides had started to change. Their fortune wasn't as big as before. Their status outshined by newer, more ambitious families. And this is the time the young Josephine was born. Her mother died during labour, not allowing her to know her, but her father did everything in his power to care for his child, so the girl never knew the lack of love. However, as the family had shown to come its downfall, others, those who had envied and despised the family for many years, had finally found opportunities to strike, and strike they did. She didn't remember much about how it happened, and yet this was the day where she lost everything. It was an intimidation gone wrong. The bandits hired uh, by a fellow noble to pay Crowley's a visit had decided to do much more than what they initially thought. They killed everyone and took everything with them. A band of merciless savages. Or almost everyone. In her fit of rage seeing her father killed, little Josephine managed to kill one of the bandits with a lucky strike of a knife. Impressed by her tenacity, the bandit leader decided to take her in. One day was all it took to break her, but many years ahead, she turned into a true monster, just like them. Wow, that is a fantastic, fantastic backstory for Josephine here. And I'm super excited to be using the uh, the Ringmaster here. Of course, this class came about when the um, when the PvP version of Darkest Dungeon came on. And yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to, to try out this class. It seems very, very interesting. Got some really cool skills in there. And I'm sure we can make this one work and fit her in quite nicely into our band of... Uh, a band of heroes. Next up, we have Barbara, our champion Vestal. This is actually our second Vestal. I did say originally at the start of the series, we're only ever going to have one of uh, every class. But Barbara is a special exception because Zai just unfortunately fell. We really, really would, were in desperate need of another healer. And so we're bringing Barbara along today. Even before the likes of Renault and Dismas arrived at the Hamlet to fight off evil, there were some devoted followers of the light fighting it off. One such follower was Barbara. Throughout the countless battles she's fought against the horrors, she learned how to be a great combatant, even if she was mostly there to heal her allies with the holy magic. After most of the followers fighting the evil either passed away or left the hamlet, and after the heaps of new adventurers arrived at the hamlet, she thought she could live peacefully from now on, knowing the evil will be defeated. But after hearing about the fates of some of the adventures recently, she decided that it was once again her time to fight off evil, of the darkest dungeon. Yes, she is here to help. She is here to make a difference, and I'm super happy to have her. Again, by Blank Gaming, we have our next one here, Marcus, um, for the one I can't pronounce. Marcus was, a, Mar Marcus was a kind person for all his life, and at the very least trying to give help to those who needed it. He worked as a blacksmith in a small, in a small town not too far from the hamlet. 
One day, while a, um, while a young lady who was looking to buy a weapon was talking to him, a hooded figure ran into the building, yelled how he'd killed the lady for what she had done, um, and Marcus tried his best to calm the man down, but to no avail. The hooded figure charged at the woman, but before he could get to her, Marcus came in between them. Knowing the man could not be stopped, he grabbed a dagger from, the ne uh, from nearby and tried to stab the figure, but missed. The hooded man bit Marcus on the neck with all his might and then fled the scene. After getting his wound treated, Marcus felt different. No matter how much he ate, he still felt hungry. After a quick read of a book about the disease, Marcus thought he might have got infected with the Crimson Curse. The symptoms, ma symptoms matched up to what he could easily have been infected by from the hooded figure. Scrambling to find if there's any cure to his disease, he found out the only way to cure it can be found in the hamlet. And so, his destination was set. Brilliant, brilliant backstory there. Loving these characters here. And we're actually going to go and do a fairly easy mission in the ruins. We're actually going to do a veteran level 3 mission to get these guys up to level 5. This is why we're bringing Sunasis here. Um, Sunasis is going to be helping everyone out. Trinket-wise, Barbara coming in with the double vestal healing she is she probably won't make it to level six here but she might make it close i'm not ex entirely sure um of course soon assist here coming in with the double proc she has very low maximum hp and um, by the way the main reason we're leveling up soon uh, using soon and percy is because soon and percy will both be making their way to the uh, crimson court very very shortly together uh, to combat and try to avenge Zai's death We've got a pretty good, I like, did some theory crafting with TEA, another one of the writers for this series, about a, a group that would be really, really strong for the Crimson Court, and we've figured out some really good stuff, so that should be good. Um, Percy here, he is carrying two scouting trinkets for a total of 35% scouting bonus. I think this should help a massive amount. It, all it does is lower his speed, so I'm not really bothered about that. We don't need him for damage. His health is fine. He's just going to be applying debuffs, so I think we've got a pretty good place for him here. I don't think we really need to worry about too much else. And then Josephine is going with mainly damage and accuracy with the legendary brace and the focus ring. I think this should lead to... A very, very easy level 3 mission. Of course, these two are level 4, this is a level 5, and this is a level 6. We are going in over-leveled, but we're doing it for a good cause. We're doing it for a good reason. Um, I, I I kind of think we should maybe go in for a, um, an otherworldly bell, but this will power level every single member of the team to level 6. I'm not sure if we should do that. It seems like a good idea, but we've had problems with the ruins in the past. Um... Mm, it's so hard to say whether it's a good idea or not. I think we'll do that. I was going to go for the level 3, but actually seeing there's an otherworldly bell available and it's a long mission for more XP, I actually think this will be a good idea and this will this will greatly power level these guys. Uh, so let's quickly buy up everything we can um, and head on out. Uh, I don't think we have the... Uh, actually, before we, before we do this, actually, one minute. It'll return my money back to me. I just want to make sure. Yeah, we don't we don't have the chance of the thing from the stars showing up, so that's fine. I just wanted to make sure of that. Um, and then quickly as well, I'm, I'm buying the materials again. I really shouldn't do this. Uh, I want to make sure we have a prevent nighttime ambush on. Um, do the book. Prevent nighttime ambush. There you go. We have that there. Um, okay. Produce a ringmaster trinket. Interesting. Okay, I think I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. I think we're uh, we're, we're pretty much good to go here. Uh, Sixty percent scouting chance here. We should be we should be good. There's some enemies here we need to be wary of, but I think we've got a, a group that should be okay here. The only thing that I'm worried about a little bit is we do we we do have a little bit of lacking damage to the backline if we take a look here um our kind of only backline damage is apprehend here um so maybe maybe actually i should change this over a little bit um let's yeah let, let's do that let's change this over a bit and give you a little more damage just in case um we'll go with the unholy ring wherever that is uh, damage versus humans. Damage versus unholy. 25% damage there. Um, and I'm, I'm just trying to think what else we can use to give us a good amount of extra damage here. Um, hmm. 
It's hard to say, really. Go with a flat 10% there. Gives us accuracy as well. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going to be best here. But yeah, I just, I just kind of sort of stumbled onto that fact that we don't really have that... Uh, we don't really have that ability to hit the back line that we probably need, especially for some of the more annoying enemies here. Um, and we, 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 we ought to be prepared for that. That's, that's definitely been something recently that we've, uh, that we've found, we've found issue with. I could just go with the extra crit, bump them up to 10%. Uh. Hmm. I've got to think about this carefully. I've got to make sure that we're doing the right thing. I suppose I could put him in position one. Let's just check his moves. Okay, so collar we can only use from position two, so we don't want him, him in position one. Um, I want him to be able to do a lot of damage, because the thing is, Apprehend is going to pull forward by two, but it's not going to be able to pull everything. That's, that's, the, that's the major issue here. And I, I don't want to get caught in a situation where we're, um, we're getting caught off guard a lot. I suppose I could go for the bloodied club for that 10% damage, but is that enough? Is that really enough? Hmm. Hard to say. It really is. I don't know what to go for here. I'm, I'm having a hard time deciding, <laughs> as you can probably tell. Um, that's, a, that, that's, that's a bit too much there. Hmm. This is tough. This is tough. There's nothing really that's going to give us the damage we need. Um, we could go with the... Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to go with this. I know that it's not actually going to give us damage all the time, but it's giving us some of that scouting chance that we lost. Not a lot, mind you. But it's giving us some of that. He already has low dodge anyways because of this ring. Um, and that is going to bump his damage when we're, when we're between rooms. Uh, like so, when we're, sorry, when we're in rooms, not hallways. So it's it's good enough, I think. So let, let's go with that. Last minute switch out, but I think it's well worth us taking the chance. I know that our scouting chance has now dramatically dropped, but I think that's okay. Um, yeah, let's make sure that you've got the right skills on. You've got your stun on, good. Um, you, you do have reduced damage here, minus 33, and slightly reduced stun chance from the Sacred Scrolls as well. Um, but I think we should be okay here. We're going in with a level 6 and going in with a level 5. I think we should be more than okay. We just have to be careful for that long-range combat. But yeah, we're just going to go into one diary entry here. This is for Marcus upon his arrival, again by Blank Gaming. On my way to the hamlet, I got ambushed by some sort of wolf. An attack was to be expected, but it caught me off guard. But what happened next caught me off guard even more. When I pulled my arm in front of my face so it wouldn't bite me, it stopped dead in its tracks and ran back into the forest. I'm hoping it was because of something about the hamlet and not about me. I should get to this sanitarium soon and hopefully get cured of this foul illness. This next part happens when he went uh, after the sanitarium. After I told the nurse what happened um, at my hometown and the symptoms, she told me that I did indeed have the curse, but, these, uh, but there was no way to cure it at the exact moment. I also told her about the encounter I had with the wolf on my way here, and she looked at me with surprise and told me that no one in the hamlet um, could be causing this, and that the curse shouldn't be causing it either, and that I'd have to stay in the sanitarium for about a week to make sure that what happened isn't something that um, happens when someone is infected with the curse for too long. Interesting. Face out the halls of your lineage once familiar. So we'll take now, this. This will give us our resolve XP. Okay. Good, good, good. Right. So we need to explore 90% of the map. So we don't need to go to these back two rooms here. Uh, we do have to come round here though. Wait a minute. Let's let's go up to this room first. Because it's a free room. Don't touch the books, anyone. I didn't actually check to see what people are rocking in terms of uh, negative quirks. We might we might see that um, that one's pretty bad. Complacent. Um, manic for money's not great. Okay. Wait. Minus dodge of stress. Okay, that's only stress is above 50. I thought it was below. Um, minus accuracy. Near sight, it's pretty bad. 
That's that's okay though. We we don't need accuracy all too much. Just remember that we want to be using our vessel mainly for healing. Victory. Okay, we've got that scouting chance. That's nice. Um, ninety percent of rooms. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 rooms. So we need to do... I think we can only leave two rooms unchecked here. Um, so it would... Well, doesn't that... That might mean that we have to go and take out one of those rooms. I'm going to leave it for now because I'm going to be a risky boy. But uh, let's make our way back. We've got a trap here. Who's got good trap design? 90, 100. Okay. Nice one, Percy. Well done. You know what you're doing with those. The one thing that I am glad about with this build is we shouldn't have to worry about um, stress really at all. We have some really good stress relief on this team. Uh, let's jump into this battle here. Uh, and of course, we are going to see many, 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 many of the Crimson Core enemies here. Uh, that is something that we have to be ready for. Um, we're going to buff our disease resist here so that these guys don't take any diseases, I would hope. Um, and we're going to buff everyone's actions here. This is going to give everyone, I'm pretty sure at least, this is going to give everyone accuracy and pro. Yeah. So the accuracy is actually going to be really, really nice here because it should hopefully move back on the accuracy we're missing um, from Barbara. But I'm glad to be taking all these guys out. We've got Neil here, which is going to be a pull. Let's pull you forward. Does no damage, but can't be guarded and gives us a massive 68 damage for the next round. Huge. Should, should mean that we get a one hit. I'm expecting someone to get the uh, disease here pretty soon, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. Let's let's just hope and pray. Nice resists on those blight guys. Well done. They're going pretty hard on Barbara already. She should be fine though. And then there we go. Look at that huge hit and a bleed as well. Um, okay, so we can trap here. Let's trap you. Debuffs you with minus dodge and activates our repurst. I don't know how good the repurst is here, but could be decent. Um, I'm going to just give you the healing now. I feel like it's pretty good. Nice. Um, and let's try and stun you again. We don't need the healing on anyone else yet. Stunning these guys is pretty huge. Yeah, as you can see, our damage in this team really isn't anything great, uh, unfortunately. Uh, our ringmaster is our main damage dealer, but that's okay. Okay. You're coming in. Uh, let's try actually do some damage here. It's only a little bit, but it might be enough. Let's try and get some extra damage going with uh, our ringmaster here. So we can do guaranteed kills on either one of you two. Oh, wait. No. Oh, the bleed does kill you, though. Okay. Um, let's apprehend you, bring you forward. Being able to block guard is really nice, too. God damn, Barbara, they will not leave you alone, will they? Luckily, her natural resists are really high, and we've, we're buffing the resists even more so, so very, very nice indeed. Very much like to see that. Get a nice dodge there. Uh, let's go for a swing. Nice. I'm liking the swing with the uh, with the damage. Really nice. That, I was going to say, should kill, but not quite. Um, debuff you a bit. Not that I need to. He resisted it anyways. But we can go for the kill here. Surges as the Great enemy stuff. Crumbles. As much as this team's going to be slower for killing uh, killing off parties of enemies, I think this is going to be a good team. Uh, one moment. Merit. Okay, let's keep trudging forward. Keep on going. But that was, that was a pretty good bit of combat there. Nice bit of stress relief here if we have to come back. You don't need it currently, but it's good to know. Okay, pretty easy bit of combat here as well. And we got the surprise. Very nice. Um... I think we still always try to use this buff to start. Buffing the proton accuracy is very important. Um, and then we don't need to use um, Sanitize straight away, I don't think. I think we're actually better off doing that. Then... Ooh, buffing target for extra damage and crit. That's nice. So what sort of damage will this do? That's good enough. Ooh, we crit. Great. That helps out a bunch. Uh, you've still got two rounds of stealth. Unfortunately, we took off our de-stealther, so it doesn't really help us too much. You can just do your thing for a few rounds, I guess. We can keep the healing topped up. I guess we are using sanitizer now. There's nothing else we can do. No point not using it, I guess. Nice. 
heal you up. Yeah, we're kind of overhealing here, but hey her. And then he's got the spotlight. I love this. I love this little spotlight thing going on here. Looks great. There you go. Now it's de stealth. He's going to stress us out a little bit, apparently, but that's okay. Uh, stress levels. Let's just take a little look. Everyone's doing fine. So let's uh, just debuff you. Take some more damage. Uh, the that, the uh, chance for that debuff is, unfortunately, really low. Uh, it, it hardly ever seems to hit. And we got a dodge there as well, of course. Go for the stun. Low chance, but we'll go for it. We actually got it. Nice. There's a hit. Bonk on the head. Resist the bleed. So let's have a look. It's a 110 chance. I'm surprised it's so uh, uncommon that it hits. So you see what I mean? It just debuff resists 60% and it still doesn't hit. Another miss. Wow. This is unfortunate. I know this isn't going to stun, but <laughs> this will kill anyway, so that's okay. Give them no quarter. Okay, nice one, guys. Well done. Um, I am going to move back this way and go go back and around because there's a there's a hallway battle there and knowing that Percy isn't buffed for hallway battles it's a pretty it's a pretty good reason to not bother going to them to be honest if we can avoid them also I find I tend to find that the hallway battles are more often the bloodsuckers than the room battles so again best to avoid them we don't need to camp anywhere near yet we're fine for now even the cold smash that down seems bent on preventing passage and see what we have here these always confuse me because it says room battle with curious sometimes you don't get a battle we got courtyard enemies anyways like i said we're gonna get a lot of these guys a lot of courtyard enemies um just because of the nature of um us having the courtyard so so present at the moment but these guys can handle it percy is actually out here specifically to deal with this this is kind of what he came here for pretty good chance to stun this guy nice one um, it's kind of what he came out here for, so very happy with that. Sanitize, buffing that disease resist, really, really important. Um, and I think we go with a buff on you, actually, before we buff anything else. Getting our two damage dealers buffed up is, is, is really good. Okay, the stun on you is great. These guys are going to go first. Oh, no. Okay. Um, let's de-stress you a little bit. Reduce that incoming stress as well. Again, stun's pretty high likelihood here. We'll go for it. When we can get them, we might as well. The thirst coming in. Nice dodge. Great to see. Um, unfortunately, we can't quite reach you. So let's uh, let's set up the trap and go with the repost here. I've not really seen how his repost works. I think it just is the repost is a stun on repost. It's pretty cool. And a bleed as well. And a deep off speed. Very good repost. Nice hit. Annihilated. Exactly killed that guy. So you should stun yourself here. A blow. Wow. So stun chance bleed and it hit for 17. That's huge. That's a really, really, really nice repurse there. First coming in once more. That is going to be some healing on you. That's okay though. Uh, we definitely want to get you healed up. Sadly, still can't deal damage to you. Really want to do that. That's okay though. Um, and panic. Go for the team heal here. Get everyone topped off. Nice one, Josephine. Very nice to see. Guaranteed blight here. Oh, no. I always thought a crit was a guaranteed blight on that. Oh, that wasn't the throw up, though. I was thinking of the wrong move. That'll explain why. Um, you've not got enough health. Let's put that on you, see if we can get the debuff. Yes, we did. Oh, no, we didn't. We still didn't get the debuff. Wow, you just it just never happens. Nice. Not going to pull you forward because you can't move, but it is going to hit you hard. Hit you hard in the body. Again, top up everyone. Keep everyone going. Nice bit of stress relief. And as you can see, as much as this team uh, doesn't have a lot of direct damage, it's still working out incredibly, incredibly well. Um, I think we just stress relief here, don't we? Get you into a bit of a better state of mind. As the fiend falls... Great stuff. Okay, we got that there. We'll take the rubies. Crawley, um, you can take the buff. That should be just a, a, a straight damage buff. Oh, it's a, it's a prot and dodge. I thought it was damage. Still very nice to have. Okay, we have a trap here. Go on, Percy. You grab that. Awesome. Thank you. I do realize as well that with Percy, um, we are taking him out pretty soon after he went out, only a few weeks after. But 
he didn't really get to prove himself in that previous mission and we are going to be taking him out again very shortly he's going to get a lot of attention from us these um these these next few missions but i think it's very worthy of, of him to get this attention because he's just a very very fun and powerful class it's and he's going to be he's 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 trying to make amends for for what he's seen and and uh yeah trying to fight back okay one of these enemies again we have to be very very careful here um right i'm not exactly sure that won't hit will it let's just do this for now be very cautious to take out you please don't anyone miss at this stage we can't have that okay it's one of you taken down I don't think you can move at all. Your move resist is incredibly high. Nice hit. Okay, we need Vestal to go. Stun chance is really high. Accuracy mod. This has got slightly higher accuracy, so I'm going to go for this. There you go. There's your two moves gone. We, we have to keep doing that. We can't let it up on her. We made that mistake last time. It's not, it's not a mistake worth making. We uh, did actually hit the debuff there. Nice. Unfortunately, Barbara isn't out to heal this time around. Great. Pushing you forwards. Amazing for us. Nice. Just, just, we don't care if we don't kill her. We just need to stop her from being able to do anything. That's the, that's the biggest, biggest thing for us right now. Receiving extra damage, nice. There we go. That is how we're supposed to deal with those enemies. We we have learned since last time, you cannot ignore them in any way, shape, or form. They are so unbelievably deadly. Um, but when you know how to deal with them, they're not really that deadly at all. It's surprising how big of a difference it makes focusing them down. Even with incredibly low damage, focusing them down is still... By far the best way to go. Uh, so let's pull you forward. And then Josephine can finish you off. Their nice crit there, Josephine. Broken. Well done. Maintain the offensive. You really are putting on a show for these people. It's great. Not need to stress heal at all with Josephine at the moment. In fact, one thing I didn't check. I'm pretty sure Josephine... Yeah, one of, one of her uh, skills that we've got going on right now, we actually can't use them from the position we're in. Um, that's fine though. We're, we're we're having a very good time with the, with the um, things that we're currently using, so that's cool with me. Get that going, and everyone's stress level's doing great. All at zero right now. Suppose that that's what happens when you bring in a few people that are over leveled. Resists the stun, but you're dead. Nice one, another crit, Josephine. Well done. Okay, and then that is that is how we're supposed As to do that. Mount, that so is how it's intended to do that. Okay. Next room along. We'll camp after this room here. Might as well. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Grab all of this. Paid for in blood. Paid for in blood. Yeah, we'll camp here. Set up shop. Okay, so Circle in the dark. we don't actually need the to. May yet be do you know what? We can we can he we can just do the minimum amount here. We don't need the stress healing or anything. Uh, so we first of all have to go with. I think we have to go with both of these. So let's go with that, and let's go with that. Produce a book. Um, and then produce a trinket. I still I want to find out what that is. interesting okay so i wonder if they're the same trinkets that we hmm i wonder if they're the same trinkets that we see in the shop or if that's because they are different mods they're not tied into one another but i wonder if it's by the same person or not it very well could be but while we're here let's uh let's just get into a few more diary entries we have time these are the last words for zai our mender this is by tea she reeled backwards be, um, feeling at the huge puncture wound left in her chest. Directly where her heart should be. Directly where it was. She couldn't feel a pulse. A wave of fear washed over her and gripped her dying body. She fell forward into Sereth, holding onto them. T 
take take me back. She couldn't think of anything else to say. She just wanted to leave. She did leave. Just didn't take her body with her. Left it lying in the mud, soaked in blood. The heroes returned with one less living member. Poor Zai had died in Sarah's arms. But Sarah had had her last words and took them to heart and gave her a proper burial. Poor Zai. I'm so upset to see her go. So upset to see her go. A blazing star is My god. Born. But such is Darkest Dungeon. As I, I, I said I said to you guys from the from the get-go, as soon as we touch level five missions, people are bound to die. Those missions from the level four missions, level three missions, level five, clear. difficulty jumps up immensely. You have to be uh, very prepared and know your classes very well. If you don't, you are going to see some death. And and death is death is what we saw. Right, let's quickly power that up. Hey, treasurer. We might be able to get him here. Um, okay, we might be able to get him. We'll see. Power these guys up. Slice and dice is bound to hurt, but we have a lot of healing, so that shouldn't matter. That definitely hurts. Okay, I'm not too worried yet. Ah, oh, we probably can't get him now. Sadly, we probably can't get him now. Okay. Hit there. Unfortunately, not that much damage, really. Yeah, he's, he's going to get away quite easily here, unfortunately. There's nothing we can do about that now. Blanket fires here are kind of annoying. The debuffs especially. Um, we can try one more time. Yeah, he's away. He is gone. You're dead. Nice. Um, let's do that on you. Yeah, unfortunately, if, if we'd have managed to grip him and pulled him to the front, he would have been an easy kill, I think. But otherwise, just no. Okay, we do have some bleed there on Sunasis. This is how a life is taken. Vamos. Later, treasurer. Okay, let's quickly get that bleed off of us. There's no point having it on. I mean, I could have... I could and should have just cured myself. It cures bite and bleed. I always forget that. Nice damage there. Not quite a kill, but near to. Nice heal for everyone there, up to full. It's interesting, because soon as this is an over-leveled, really doesn't make much sense, because she doesn't do much damage or anything. She's just providing a little bit of help. Uh, but having having our Vestal over-leveled is insane. Barbara is just healing everyone so easily. Um, let's do that. Get rid of some of that stress. I just love the fact that it lowers incoming stress as well. Quickly clip you. Nice. Nice hit there. Bleed to take out on both. Awesome. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Great to see. Why not? Should have just done a stress heal, really. Oh. And power. That'll do it. This That'll do it. At least promises success. Indeed, it does. By the looks of things. Okay, we do have a, this is a pretty hard bit of combat here. Uh, clipping this guy, stopping him from dealing damage is going to be great for us. With Percy, um, I think we I think we kneel here. Bring you forward. This stops her from stress dealing. Really, really nice. Um, let's try and deal some damage to you in the back line. You're unholy, so it'll deal a bit of extra. So yeah, we clip you. Stops you from dealing a good amount of damage. Lowers your speed a whole hell of a lot. Puts us in a major advantage posi advantaged position. You are going to get that 20% buff, but I don't think this will be that damaging. There you go. Look, look at that. Great. And we all resisted the sun. It is a low chance anyways, but there you go. And I think with this team, we're playing this incredibly well. Playing this incredibly well. We're going to debuff you, hopefully. Yes. And I think Vessel can finish you off. Oh, Crawley can, actually. Oh, no, don't possess her. Please resist. Did, yes, she resisted it. Resisting possession is really nice here. Okay. Cure up a tiny little bit on everyone. Crown pound again. Probably going to see some stuns here. We got Percy stunned. Oh no, he resisted. That was close. 
get some stress relief here then, because we did just take on quite a lot of stress there. Well Huge stuck. hit. Okay, keep doing that. Well, every time you ground pounds, we're going to be wanting to get that going. Okay, it doesn't pull you, but that's fine. Crushing blow is going to hurt. Yep. Even without a crit, that was going to be strike. that was going to be hurtful, and it and it was. We cliff you again. There you go. 110 damage down. Awesome. Love to see it. If he does another crushing blow, it's hardly going to do anything. It's great. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Look. Zero damage. He did get the stun off the... That's okay, though. We've already done what we need to do. And Josephine knows exactly how to finish out a fight. She she can she can give the people a sure. She truly can. But a victory nonetheless. Okay, we've got another one of them there. Hmm. I guess I should we fight that for an invite. I'm fairly sure we've got more than one Viscount invite. I'm gonna be upset if we don't, because we've given so many away. But I'm fairly sure we do. Okay, that was, that was close. But luckily, again, Percy knows how to manage with these traps as an exterminator. Even though he's not been around these lounges before, he's seen these sort of things. He knows his way around. And he is well-versed. Uh, yeah, I'm actually, I'm really loving this team. Obviously, our healing is definitely overkill, but <laughs> it's not a problem. Okay, uh, start off with this, of course. Um, I'm actually going to start off with this so we don't get possessed. Stress heal is also nice, but the possession, preventing the possession is really, really good. Hmm. Pull you forward. It's nice that we've got two really big pulls on this team, just to easily pull enemies forward. Stun you as well. Nice. Graveyard Slash can hurt, but we dodged it. Shaking Suspicion with that buff. But okay, though. Let's debuff you and go for that huge hit. There we go. Awesome to see that. Okay, let's take the stress on. Stun you out. Haha. -ha. We're not seeing one of these little guys in a long time. These are early level enemies, but they can be pretty difficult. Taking some hits here. That's okay. Um, yeah, let's just do a stress relief here. Vestal, Barbara, you can uh, heal everyone up in a sec. The blood. Echo, look here. That's some stress coming in. Clip you. Destroy you. <laughs> Thank you, Josephine. Barbara, your turn to shine. Nice one. Bump in the night. A nice dodge. Pull you forward. Josephine can finish you. Night bite, that could hurt. No bleed? Nice. Keep stress relieving. Keep that going. Huge, Josephine. You're getting so many crits, and I'm very happy for it. It's great that she gets plus uh, stress healing skill on um, on crit. Very good to know. Very easy here. And you're dead. Nice one, Percy. Keep pushing forward. So clearly in view. What we got here. Fairly easy battle here. Even with a surprise, that's better. So I think what we do here is... We start off with this. Then we go... Kneel. We pull in further one more. Stops you from being able to deal stress. Get the team buff going. Um. Yeah, let's just top everyone up. Why not? Knife in the dark really doesn't do too much to us. The slash can hurt from stealth, but we should be okay. Quarrel, yeah. I was gonna say Death that could hurt a lot. It did. For the slightest lapse in concentration. 
Yeah, can't be guarded. You fool. <laughs> we got you there, didn't we? 42. Huge. Huge. Stop you from dealing damage. He still gets the prop buff when using his guard. Interesting. Let's get that going on. And that. Of war can be healed. I, ne I never, never knew that if the guard fails, he still gets a protection. That damage down is huge. So valuable. Stun you out. He resisted that. Strange. Not had a resist yet. Um, De-stress a little bit there. And keep going for the hits on this guy. He's not got the prot anymore, so we can take him out. He's going to try and guard someone again, so I'm going to try and stop him from doing that. Um, do it for you. I think that also kind of fucks him over, because he's a ranged attacker and now he's in front. Stun? Yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunate. That's okay, though. Let's get that debuff on you. Make you take a bit more damage. Stun's not a huge problem. We got the both of these guards can't guard now, so this guy's gonna have a bit of a hard time doing what he wants to. That stun again. Okay, we'll go for a heal in a sec here. Yeah, there you go. Like, he's going to keep trying to do this and just fail. It's great being able to do this. Nice. Here, another beautiful crit. See? Get that on you. Party heal. Ooh, the double 14. Nice. Oh, nice dodge. See, the fights are taking longer, but they're pretty, like, easy. We're getting through them just fine, which is great to see. Great to see. This has been a lot longer of an episode than I was expecting it to be, but... Hey, her. It's really nice to play with uh, two unique classes and find find out their inner workings and how they best pair and everything. I think that's great. You get over here, you're... Obviously, Percy's not really doing a ton of damage, but he's still helping out a ton. Nice. Be wary. Um, Triumph get a key on that. Precipitates a dizzying fall. Nice bit of cash. Uh, we don't need medical herbs anymore. Let's just take the rest of the cash. Go up this way. Percy, you can grab that, can't you? Thank you. Pop you tight. Two guys around. Another one of these things. Okay. We'll find out we have no invitations, then when we want to use these, we'll be able to find any. I, gu I can guarantee that. But at the same time, I don't want to go un take unnecessarily risks of getting the curse. And we don't need to, because we've already got enough of a risk of getting the curse. This could be it here for Percy. Oh, nice dodge. We want to get sanitized out before they start going for the um, blood suck. It's hard to do so. We don't really have the speed to back that. But if we can, it's great. I love the animations on these two characters. Like, you can see that all the new modded classes that come out just have impeccable animations. They're great. They visually look so good. They fit into the game really well. It's just... All in all, it's really, really nice to see. Stun you out. This guy's got pretty high some We're going to try and take this guy out as quickly as possible. Oh, maybe not. He just got, he just got pulled away. Nice. Um, yeah, let's actually pull you forward. We're blocking guard left, right, and center here. It's great. Put that on you too. Let's hope. Damn it. We got the mark, but nothing else. The elusive exit. That's what we're trying to avoid. The abyss returns even the boldest gaze. Ow. Nice hit though. Get a good, a good old bonk on there. Um, let's set up the trap. It's going to give us a good stun. And good damage as well, I hope. Nice. Top everyone off again. Stun you? Ah, uh, it won't stun him though. His, yeah, I guess his stun resist is really, really high. Sadly, the wrong enemy went for him then. 
Fast coming in once again. And again. Not too worried about getting the curse now because we've um, set up that sanitize. It's not a guaranteed chance to block it, but plus 40% disease resist is pretty, pretty high. Like, it's a, that's a good amount of disease resist. Going for guaranteed kills here. From, so add that damage received going on. And a stun on you as well. Pretty much guarantees a one-hit kill from uh, Josephine, of course. As long as she can hit it. Get that on you as well. Nice. Yeah, that guy's dead. Wouldn't stun this guy, but there you go. Nice. They're all dead. They all fall. Great to see. Let's pop that. Get some more buffs going. Right. Move over to this last room over here. Come over here real quick. We might end up having to go all the way back down to these, by the way. I may have messed up. I may I may have not like miscounted the rooms. We might have to go all the way back, but let's hope not. Let's hope not. Right, come back to this room, do our last camp, and then go to the last room. Or hopefully last room. Like I said, I may have miscounted the rooms or done that a little wrong. Right, um... Let's do our camping. We we do need the stress relief here, and we have the food, so let's go for this. I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. Prevent nighttime ambush. Read a book. And produce a trinket. We'll take that over the holy water. I like the trinkets; they're interesting. I, d I think they are different, by the way, but I I'm I'm happy with them. Hey, works for me. Oh wait, take our book. Let's hope this is the last room. I really have a feeling it's not going to be. But let's hope. <laughs> it's not. Heck. We're going to have to fight some more things on, on our way back as well. That's the, the biggest problem with, with doing what I'm doing now and, and heavily traversing back is going from corridor to corridor spawns new, um, new fights. It spawns new uh, hallway fights. So we are likely to probably come across at least two more hallway fights on our way back. We'd be lucky. We'd be lucky to get just one, I think. We've got quite a ways to make our way back here. This is why, it's specifically, I like the faster walking speed that I have the mod. Because it just makes sections like this not boring for me and not boring for you. Because these sections can be grueling, grueling. In there, and like in the Crimson Court with the default walk speed, it's just too it's too slow for me to handle. And I get that it builds suspense and the slow gameplay. That's kind of why the game has it. But for a video format, I think this game is already kind of specialist to who watches it. It's not it's not a game that anyone can watch. You have to be really into the game to enjoy it, I think. And that's just videos on this game in general, not not specifically my series. Um but I think, yeah, it, this this mod really helps out with uh, making it a little more watchable for, for me, for you guys, and a little more producible for me. Let's keep moving forward. Silly, and we haven't got a battle yet. I'm very happy. We're, we've almost made it, so very happy with this. Let's hope this isn't a terrible, terrible battle to end this off. Good, good. More food. Thank God we have so much. Okay. And through we go. Really? We, we didn't get a battle. We didn't get one, surprisingly so. I might go back and do that hive fight. Okay, Crimson Core enemies. We got surprised. That's great because it means we can get sanitized up early. Uh, also means we can get a stun off really early on too. Just means we can set up a lot easier. Mm. 
won't pull you forward, I don't think. No. Gives us the buff nonetheless. Look at them. Look at that buff list. <laughs> I love that. Bit of blight coming in there. Nice resist, though. Buried blast. That's okay. As long as, we, as long as we resist the stuns, that attack isn't too bad. That hurts. That, oh, no, it doesn't. Nice. Finish you. Okay, get a big heal coming in here, Barbara, please. That'd be great. Need that huge heal. Let's get that on you. Nice. Yes. Everyone's to full, pretty much. Damn it. I really want to lower this guy's... Um, really want to lower this guy's damage, but we can't do that yet, so let's just set up repost. Stun him. Yes. Brilliant, Percy. Brilliant. What we love to see. Ooh, that's a big crit. Oh, resisted the curse, though. Nice. That's a, that's a lot of stress. And a stun. God damn it. It's annoying when, when things just line up back to back like that. Nice hit. That's killing. Nice one. Okay, heal everyone up again. You've been stunned. It's perfect for us here. Percy, if you could lower his damage, please. That'd be great. Bombing run again. Ooh, our first DOT in a while. Nice hit. No bleed, unfortunately. Right. Definitely chain and collar on you. Nice. Finish you off. We need healing, but not much, so okay. Stress relief here. We're all nearing 20, but that's fine. Do that. Set up that repost again. It's a single use repost, but it's a sing as far as single use repost go, pretty good. Right, great, that should be it. It is, okay. So let's quickly let's quickly open this up. And then let's go let's go quickly back here and just pop one of those things open. Just in case. I don't think we need to, but as a just in case. Just to get another invitation. I think we gotta use a torch on these, don't we? Or do we just touch them? Okay, we just touched them, okay. Take out this guy first. Yes. I'm pretty sure it's the guaranteed invitation. This is a just in case. And we got really easy enemies as well, so I'm not worrying about this too much at all. Just need to pop our um, sanitize to make sure we don't get the curse. Although, from what I've experienced, these two guys can't give the curse. From what I know of. Um, use this as a bit of stress relief time. Nice. There you go, get that out there just in case. Lower stress as well. Pretty big stress reliever actually to start off a fight. Nice hit. No bleed though. Okay, puke coming out. It's okay. Another puke coming out. I love the fact that our ringmaster is going to be legendary. It's, it seems so fitting. No kill, unfortunately, leaving you at 2 HP. <laughs> the overkill killer. My god. Good, good. Everyone's looking good. 8, 5, 10. I just love the buff list. The buff list is massive. It's great. You can't get me now, dude. It's over. Lower your damage. Why not? He, he resisted it. There's a crit, leaving you at 1 HP with a bleed. Poor lad. Poor lad. Oh. Remind Maybe I need to fight... Okay, someone needs to tell me. An insidious killer. Was this completely random? Or 
does fighting those cocoons give you a higher chance of getting trinkets? Because if it does, I should probably look at fighting those more often. But there you go. We got the Viscount's Invitation. And we got ourselves this as well, which is great. Um, might as well take that as well. Yeah, this is um, for the filler math. Uh, bleed and Blight Resist. Friendly skill buff self with plus 3% crit. Very, very good by the looks of things. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Right, cool. We have finished this mission. We are out. Uh, we are on a 300% resolve buff. XP, so everyone should hit level 6 from this. I think. And we get a new otherworldly bell. Having two of those seems, quite frankly, absurd. But there you go. Full team to level 6. Josephine and Percy. I love the fact that Josephine got finisher. That's great. Um, look, that's also really, really good. Um, okay, that's awesome. Right. Enter town. We've got a few things I want to do here um, in preparation. Oh, we got a thorn. Uh, I mean, this is level what? Level zero. I really wish they'd come in at the level of your average heroes, like level four or five. But let's quickly let's quickly remove trinkets and reorganize. And then Josephine, can you just quickly get rid of that disease? Grey rot. We want that gone. Awesome. Right. Let's quickly check out our trinkets. Um, a very rare ringmaster's helm. Plus 20% stress on monster kill. 20% uh, to gain sideshow act. What's sideshow act? Um, on attack hit, buff self. I don't know. I, I don't exactly know what this is. Like what sideshow act is, but I'm going to take that. That sounds pretty cool. Um, let's also check here for a new syringe. Damn it. Re we really need a new syringe. Um, losing that was pretty bad. We, we are going to get it back soon. Um, that's really good for the arbalist there. The medic's full plate. Not quite what we need, though. Let's check our wagon, see who we've got coming in. Um, we, we have some, uh, at least one new class here. This is actually a new one that I just downloaded, like, today. Um, we have two... We, okay, we have two new classes. We have the uh, the chaplain. The chaplain here. Pretty interesting class. Apparently very, very powerful too, so interesting to get that on board. And we have a duelist as well, which is a really, really interesting class uh, that I've seen, which can do a few interesting things like debuffing uh some of the debuffs he has are pretty good so we'll take him on as well uh by the way we are nearing capacity at 85 which is absurd but we're nearing capacity uh don't worry about that if we hit capacity i'm pretty sure i know of a way to increase it so i'll see about that either way i hope you guys did enjoy this is a really good episode we do have one last diary entry to finish out this episode again from tea this is for serif our stargazer a mortal died in my arms today. Initially, I planned on ignoring any deaths as best I could and focusing on the goal of my efforts. I couldn't. She grabbed onto me. Only I, um, only for me to hear her last words. It was too personal for me. Oh, too personal for me to forget. I watched her soul drift unguided, unprotected, and couldn't help but send it upwards towards the light. I do not know if she was religious, but they will take care of her at the very least. And to think that things like this have been happening for millennia. Mortals living and dying by the thousands every day. And we just ignore it. The others don't know what they're talking about. I need to be here. I can't save them all, but I'll try. Wow, she has a, she's now on a mission. Or he, sorry, is now on an absolute mission. Uh, either way, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one.